Good morning. Happy Thursday. Um, I want to, uh, I thought I'd do a get ready with me today, um, focused on lips, eyes, and liners. So um, I am just getting ready. I thought I would let you have you join me. Um, and uh, I'm actually doing this video for uh, the VIP party that I'm having over in another group. Um, and so today we're talking about liners, lips, and eyes. So um, I have done my skincare. That's really all I've done. Um, so I put on some uh, climate control. Uh, actually, I put on some anti-wrinkle, and then I sprayed some climate control, and then I put on some moisturizer, and then I put on silk. Silk's our pore minimizer and wrinkle minimizer. It's really great to put on before you put on your makeup. Um, it'll f you, you apply it in a downward motion and it fills any of your large pores that you might have. Um, so I've applied those and then I sort of do my hair and get ready and I let it sort of kind of soak all in. So um, next what I'm going to use is our green color correcting. I know it's hard to see, but it is green. Um, color correct or con color concealer um, and I'm using it in any red places I might have you can see I have a little zit over here that I've been popping so I'm gonna put a little bit right there and I just put it on there um, and then I'm gonna put it anywhere else that I feel like I have redness so I also have a little bit of redness through here um, and I've got a little bit of redness on my nose the bridge of my nose because I have some eczema there and then I'm going to just put a little bit more down here. So this is our green concealer and it is great for taking out redness. Green cancels red. So it's really great for taking out redness in your skin. So it's probably one of the products that I use most, almost every day when I, before I put on my um, foundation. So um, next what I'm going to do, so there's some green concealer and you can see how it just sort of has taken the redness out. Um, now I'm going to go with my light color correcting tinted moisturizer. So most days I just do one pump of this. Um, some days I do about that much. And then I take our dewy foundation, which has more coverage than the moisturizer. And I do a little squirt of that. And then I take our pearlizer, which is kind of gives you this sort of dewy glow, if you will. Um, and I put a little squirt of that. So I actually mix all three. Now, if you didn't want as much coverage, you could just go with color correcting tinted moisturizer. If you wanted more coverage, you could just go with the, the foundation. Um, so you sort of go with what you need um, and what you prefer. And then I use my fingers. So yes, probably some of it absorbs into my skin. You could also use to sort of stipple it in a flat stipple brush. And some days I do that too. Um, but today I'm not feeling it. So what you'll notice is those will even out my skin tone, give me some coverage, but not too heavy of coverage. Um, cause I don't want too much coverage. And then just sort of evens out my skin tone and then covers up a little bit of that green concealer that I had put on. Now it's on my hands and I'm not at a sink. Normally I would wash my hands with some soap, but since I'm not, I'm actually gonna use antibacterial to get that off of my hands because it is smudge proof, budge proof. So it's gonna be there all day if I don't get it off of my hands. So I usually wash them, but when I'm sitting here, I use antibacterial. So let's just squeeze in just a touch. Okay, so many days, that's all I do um, and, and use those products and I'm done for the day. Um, today, hold on, I've got something in my, in my makeup box here that's fallen over. Let me just fix that really quick, otherwise I'm not going to be able to get anything in here. There we go. Okay. So. Today, I have a consulting company. Um, we build learning and development for companies. Um, and we have a virtual, I, have, I worked with about 16 contractors on a project this summer. 
And so we have actually a virtual holiday party today. So um, I am gonna get ready for the day. Normally I don't. So this is our candlelight shadow scents. All of our shadows are cream to powder shadows and I use them as concealers. So what I'm doing is just um, putting it on as a concealer and then I also use it on my eyelids. And again, some days this is all I do. Most days. Um, all of our skincare, all of our makeup has skincare in it. So while you're wearing it, you're, um, you're actually uh, rejuvenating your, your skin cells. So we have a product, a, a formula that's called Cineplex Complex, and it speeds up the um, production of your cells, skin cells, by 23%. So you're constantly getting newer screen skin cells to the surface of your skin, um, giving you an anti, kind of this anti-aging, better skin look. I'm gonna put a little bit over there on that little zit I've been picking. Okay, so, um, Again, you could be done. Hi, Kista. Happy holidays. I had legging envy of you today because I really wanted to wear some Christmas leggings from LuLaRoe, and I don't own any. And every time I go to buy them, I'm like, oh, I don't need them. And then today I really wanted to wear them because I have just a black top on and, and wear Christmas leggings, and I don't have any. So the best I could do were my Christmas socks. That's the best I could do. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you know, it's it's really when I when I put it on. Um, so the color correcting tinted moisturizer comes in three shades. I wear light, and then it comes in medium, and then it comes in a dark, and it goes up three levels of skin tone or down three levels. And so depending on how dark your skin is or how light your skin is, it'll adjust to what your skin. So light, medium, dark. Um, actually, deep. It's called deep. Light, medium, deep. Um, and it, it's, it feels, it's not heavy. Like it feels like you just have moisturizer on your skin. So it's super, super light, which I'm a fan of cause I don't like to wear anything too heavy. Um, okay. So we're going to do a little bit of a holiday look today. Um, so let me show you, uh, I am going to actually use today. I was kind of thinking about this, trying to decide actually. Let me get my stuff a little closer to me. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use Bandana, Sh Bandana Shimmer, which is actually this red tone. And then I'm gonna use our new Glacier Glitter, which is a white translucent glitter. And then in the corners, I think I'm gonna use our Silver Shimmer. And we're going to go kind of that route. And I might throw in some palm glitter. We'll see how I feel about that. Um, so I think all over my lid today. Oh, and snow. I want snow. I'm thinking all over my lid I'll do snow. If I can find it. I know I used it yesterday. Hopefully it's not in on my counter. This is what I do. I think I'm organized and then I'm not. Okay, so I'm gonna start with snow and I'm just gonna take, so it's, um, again, you know me, I like to get all my product and so I actually took the pl little plunger out of there so it's a little goopy. Um, yours won't be this goopy unless you take the, the, um, the top out. So I just sort of cover my lid and I can just use my fourth finger because it's the lightest, most delicate finger I have, or you could use like a flat brush, sort of up to you. And I'm just gonna spread that all over my lid. Um, the key to these is they go on as cream um, and they turn to powder. So they set in about 30 seconds and then you are, um, you are set. So these are gonna stay on all day. 
just like lip scents, they don't crease. If they crease on you, it means you've used too much product. And what you wanna do is do a thinner amount and then just like lip scents, sort of layer it to get like a deeper, darker color, okay? So next, what I think I'm gonna go in with is this bandana shimmer. So I talked a little bit about this yesterday um, on my video, but the shimmers are um, more translucent than like a, let me show you than like a matte shade. Like a matte shade is gonna be really a deep color and actually I'll show you cause I'm gonna use this on my eyebrows. So you can tell how sort of deep that shade is in terms of a matte shade. And so I just take a little bit, I actually use it in my brows. You could use it on your eyes as well, but you're gonna use a lot less because it is more of a matte shade and it's a little bit more concentrated. Um, I have pretty good brows, so I don't use a lot in my eyebrows. So that is sort of the matte shade. So I'm going to take this shimmer shade, and that's why they always look a little intimidating in the bottle. Um, but once you get them out, they're very shimmery. So you can see, I'm going to just take a little bit off here onto a fluffy brush. And then I sort of, I've got a mirror down here, I sort of pat it in. And then I'm just gonna do my crease with that color. So you can see I get a little bit of color. And so I went too far down here. So I can go back in there with snow and just go right over it. So what's cool is if you make a mistake or you want something a little bit different, rather than trying to take it off, instead what you wanna do is just cover it up with a different color um, and sort of build that. So I'm just sort of doing this window wipe, wiper action in my crease. And I sort of want to get those so that they match. And it always looks a little worse before it looks better because I'm not hugely talented. Um, but I always can get it fixed the way I want it. So don't, don't be too judging of yourself as you're learning to do these because you can always make accommodations. So that's the bandana shimmer. Really pretty, um, could be used kind of for like a dark sort of fall look, um, but great for the holidays, great for Valentine's Day, great for New Year's. Um, it's called bandana shimmer. So that's what's in my crease. Okay, now I'm gonna take, I'm debating. Um, you know, this is glitter. I'm gonna come back in with the glitter. I think what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of the silver shimmer that we have, and I'm gonna put that in the corner. So to put it in the corner, what I typically do, and you, again, you can do this however it's most convenient for you. I take a little tiny brush like this, and again, you don't need a ton of product at first, you know, so I just sort of take it off the side here and it's right, I don't even know if you can see it, kind of see it. Um, and then I just sort of tap it in the corner wherever I want it. And it's not extremely dark. So I'm just lightly going in the corner with some of that. You can barely see it. You know, I'm gonna take it up, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna step it up a little bit, <laughs> a lot of it, hold on. Um, this is our Onyx, it is black. I'm gonna just take the tiniest amount and then you can see I just got a little tiny amount on there and I'm just gonna put that in the corner. And I start with a little bit because I don't want it too dark. And then I sort of tap it even to get some of it off before I put it on my eye because once I get it pretty dark, I mean, this black is intense. It's a matte shade. So I just want that kind of in the corner and I'm gonna pull it in. And then same thing on this guy. Hey, Rachel. Um, so who's taking time off next week? Well, Rachel, you probably have time off next week, 
which is great. We probably have time off the next two weeks. Um, we're going to Tampa. We don't usually travel for Christmas. My parents are usually here from Florida, but they are in, in Florida in their other house, so we're going to go there for the holidays. Um, so see how I just sort of tap that in? Um, and it looks messier before it looks cleaner, right? So that's just how I roll. Okay. Oh my gosh, two weeks. So you must go back like like January 3rd or something. I think my kids don't go back till January 9th. So my husband's off through like the 7th. Um, we are, we're pretty done here. My, our oldest took all her finals yesterday. I think she has to turn in a paper today and she doesn't have school tomorrow. And then um, our youngest does have school. So I'm going back in with just a little bit of bandana to sort of pull out a little bit more of that red. Oh, thank you. I'm kind of going holiday-ish. We have a, um, a virtual Christmas party because my consulting business, um, I had like six, uh, 16 contractors who worked for me this summer. And so we're doing a virtual holiday party. So it, we're doing an elephant gift. Um, and it's super easy when you do a virtual party because you just tell everyone to, um, uh, you tell everyone just to send a picture from Google of their elephant gift, white elephant gift. Um, and you should see some of them that I've gotten. They're so funny. Um, so if you've never done a virtual holiday party and you work with a virtual team, uh, hit me up and I'll share what I did. It's super fun. Um, I'm doing it with all the contractors who worked for me this summer. I think 16 of them worked for me. Um, and I think probably 10 are coming. So so I just did bandana, then a little bit of onyx, um, snows on my the base of my eye. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to go back in with snow, which is right here. Um, hi, Amy. Yeah, the seventh is enough time. So I'm just going to go on with a little more snow just to sort of soften that out in the center of my eye here. Um, yeah, we're pretty excited. So we're going to Tampa and we've never taken our dog on a plane before and we're taking him. So wish me luck. I don't know how that's going to work out. You know what? Bandana has been my jam lately too, because you know where I love and I haven't used it yet. So let me use it. Um, I love it on my cheeks. Like it's my favorite blush because we don't, the only red we have is that cherry color, and it's a little too red. I kind of like this softer red. So what I do for blush is I just, I just take a little bit off the side, and then I use it for blush, and I really like it. Oh, that might be a little too much, but that's okay. That's what I get. Um, so the sun's starting to come up a little bit higher. So let me just change my lighting a little bit. There we go. Um, so this has been my favorite to use as blush lately. Okay. Um, so here's the key to like, if you ever get too much blush again, rather than taking it off, just tone it down with a little bit of foundation. So again, rather than always taking it, trying to take it off or you just like I can come over here with a little bit of foundation and just soften it. Um, yeah, definitely try it as a blush. It's, it's like my new favorite color. Maybe they'll come out with that color and blush. Okay, so since we have a holiday party, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use, so um, this video I'm using as well for lips, liners, and shadows in our VIP party. Um, so for liners, you have lots of options. Um, so we have pencil liners, you can use those. We have, um, we have these three, liners which are glittery so we have starry night we have ocean 
and we have gilded. And those three are super pretty. Um, so I could put Starry Night with this if I wanted to. That would be one option with this look. Let me just show you what these look like. Um, they are glittery. I will tell you if you don't like glitter, um, this might not be the right choice for you because you will find glitter uh, a few days later. Um, at least I do. So those are the three. So sorry, that's lip sense over there. But this is gilded, this is ocean, and this is starry night. And they have just, a, you can see the glitter in them. Super pretty. If you need a good liner for New Year's Eve, um, or I don't usually wear these every day, personally. Um, but these are great choices. If you prefer liners, like pencil liners, we have new pencil liners, which is right there. That's the black. And then we also have a black brown, which I don't think I have up here with me right now. Um, and then your other choice for liners, which is what I typically use, are our lash scents. So if you want to grow your lashes thicker and longer, you wanna go with our lash scents. And this is, works as a liner as well. These are not waterproof, whereas um, our, our pencils are. Um, and if you want something waterproof, you wanna go with our eye scents. Um, yeah, I agree. Starry Night is super, um, soup, it's just a great color for a night out. This is our eye scents. This is um, our eye scents. It is waterproof. So if you're looking for something that's gonna stay on all day, you wanna go with our eye scents. I personally can't use it. Um, it has alcohol in it and it irritates my eyes. So I've never been able to use it. I used it like when I first started. Um, and you guys know me, I'm covered in eczema and I am really sensitive. So this is the one product I can't use. Um, so if you're more sensitive, I'd kind of steer away from this. Um, but it's a great product if you don't have any sensitivities. Um, and finally, what you can use on your eyes, which is what I'm gonna do today, what did I do with it? Is I'm gonna use Shadow Sense. I just had it, hold on. Um, so all of our shadows, because they're budge proof and smudge proof, you can wear those as liners as well. Seriously, I'm losing my mind. So I was gonna use our green, which I just had in my hand. Hmm, what did I do with it? Um, I really, I'm a hot mess. Um, did I drop it? Huh, well lo and behold. Okay, let me look in my box again here. That's really the color I wanted to use on my liner. Did I stick it in here on accident? I sometimes do that too. You know if I stop my video, I'm gonna find it. Glitter, 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 glitter. Huh, I have no idea you guys what I just did with that green glitter. Who does this? Who does this? It's showing my age. It's not sitting here. <laughs> oh my word. Really? Who does that? I really wanted to use it too. It would have looked so pretty. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna stand up. Maybe I dropped it. Huh. As my kids would say, like when I lose my glasses and they're sitting on top of my head and they're like, oh, are they on top of your head? It's not. Ah, found it. It was hiding. Oh my gosh. Okay, I found it. So any of our shadows you can use as liners too. So what I do is I just take a little bit. Um, and I should have a disclaimer here. I have um, my eyes eyeliner tattooed. I have permanent eyeliner. So I know most days I don't have to wear eyeliner unless I want to. Um, but what I do is I just go right over the top of what I already have. Um, 
If you have thought about permanent eyeliner, it is the best money I've ever spent. I've had it done for about seven years. So I just put a really light green on as their, that liner. Um, nothing fancy. I am making a little bit thicker so that you can see it. So this is kind of my favorite way to wear um, liner in our shadows. It's subtle. It's subtle, but it just sort of adds a little bit. So you can sort of see that on there. Okay. Now, this is my trick. So my trick is when I'm done, I take my candlelight and I put a little bit on the end, like just on my little brush. And then I just go in and I just clean up this line a little bit. Again, easier to cover up than it is to take away. And that's just gonna clean up this line so that I just have this nice line that goes from the corner of my eye to the end of my eyebrow. So that's my trick. Just kind of cleans it up a little bit. Um, super simple. And just makes it a little bit more dramatic. Okay, so last but not least, let's put on some, some of our Volume Intense Mascara. Um, it comes in waterproof and non-waterproof. I only have one of these left in black. This is the non-waterproof. Um, it is water resistant, so it can be worn all day. Um, it will increase the length of your lashes and the thickness of your lashes in four weeks by 43%. Um, so I am just going to, and you can see it is an amazing formula. I've been using it for about eight weeks and notice a significant difference, but look at how it just lifts that eye. Um, it is amazing. It's, it's like my new favorite product. Um, I can't wait to get the waterproof back in. It's been out for a while. They said we'll see some more before Christmas and then they'll drop more after Christmas. So as soon as I see that puppy come up, I'll grab some because I sold out of them very quickly. Um, and then I just sort of, I don't usually do the bot my bottom um, lashes. I just choose not to. Okay. So last but not least, I'm going to do liner and lips. So um, let me just put on some powder. I'm going to use our translucent powder. That sort of finishes the look. You know what, you have a really good, so the good point, Rachel, the non-waterproof is truly, um, I mean, it's water resistant. And I'll tell you, this waterproof, I have to use shea butter or shea butter body cream to get it off. Like my Foops remover doesn't take it off like I would like it to. Um, it is waterproof. So if you're going to be crying, you're going to a wedding or something like that, totally recommend this. Cause I agree, the non-waterproof is some of the most water resistant I've ever experienced. Um, okay, so I wanna talk, I wanna talk liners. Um, so normally what I do is I just line my lips with um, lip scents. And so like if I wanna line my lips very often, what I will do is I will, you know, pick my color and then I'll just pick a darker color to line my lips, right? So I might use, um, like in this case, I might use, I could use all kinds of stuff, but I could, I could line with raisin and I could um, fill the inside with this color. So um, that's usually what I do. We do sell liners and I have a few customers who, you know, they've um, worn liners all their life and so they really, really like liners. Here are the liners we have. So we have neutral, cocoa, blue-red, persimmon, persimmon, and berry. 
And so you can, these are our actual liners. I'm going to show them to you here in a minute. Um, I'm going to wear candy cane today. So I'm thinking I'm either going to line with, I might line with berry actually. I might line with berry. So the only difference, this is the same formula as lip sense um, for the most part. It's a little different, but it has, um, it's the same colors as our lip sense. So when you line, the only difference is that you get this smaller brush. So what you do is you press and glide is the easiest way to do it. So you just line. And I, d I had, hadn't used these much, um, and I do really like them. So you just sort of line. your lips and it's you just sort of press it down and glide it across until you run out of product now if I wanted this a little bit darker which I do in some spots I'm gonna go back over those spots And I don't worry if it's not perfect because I'm going to go over, I'm going to put lip sense on. Now, why would you want to line your lips? If you have thinner lips, lining your lips will give them the appearance that they're, they're larger than they really are. And you want to line sort of on the outside of your lip again giving it an appearance that it is thick big that your lips are bigger than they really are so my thin lipped la ladies this might be a really good trick to try okay i don't want that line to look like it just disappears into the cracks of my mouth the corners of my mouth so that's berry liner Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply my lip scents. So again, you can go like a shade darker. Um, you can go many shades darker, and you can do all kinds of different fun things. So I'm using candy cane today. It's a good holiday color. Um, we'll see if it matches my earrings. It might be too, too red, reddish pink. Um, this is one of my new favorite colors. If you uh, don't need it for Christmas, be thinking about Valentine's Day because these will um, not be available. I'm guessing. So when I apply this, I just press and glide going in one direction. And you can sort of see that liner just gives me a bigger lip. The appearance of a bigger lip, I should say. So there's two layers. So there's two. And now I'm going to go for three. Okay, there's three and three on the bottom. There's three. So there's my holiday look let that dry for a second while I'm doing that I'm just gonna take a little bit of this um, glacier glitter and for the, my glitters I typically use a different brush because otherwise I get that glitter everywhere so I'm just gonna take some of this glacier glitter and I'm just gonna go up here with some of it
and you sort of want to tap this up there rather than like brushing it. And then I'm also going to put some down here. This is a pretty dramatic work look for uh, sitting behind my computer all day, by the way. Okay, let me grab some gloss because it's over by my bed. Hold on. Hope my computer is impressed with my look today. Okay, I'm going to kiss off. Make sure it's dry. We're good to go. Now, every day, like I've been doing this two and a half years. I, it never gets old for me. Look, like it never gets old. I get so excited the fact that I'm wearing this bright of lipstick. My wand is clean as can be and I'm set for the day. So, um, the highlight of this video was really getting ready with me, but the highlight was lips, liners, and eyes. So just to recap, I have candy cane on my lips. I lined with berry. Um, I used with a berry liner scent. So you could also use berry lip scents or a different color lip scents. Um, on my eyes, I did um, snow on the base. I did bandana in the, in the crease. I did a little bit of onyx over here. And then I lined my lip lid with um, palm glitter green. And then I put a little bit of glitter glacier in the corners and then by my eyebrow. I filled my eyebrows with mocha java and I used bandana on my cheeks. Um, and that's my holiday look for today. So I hope you guys have a great day. Um, one more day of school for my family. Uh, what, four more days? Friday, do we count today? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, four more shopping days. Um, I hope you're done. If you're not, let me know, I can help you out. Um, I just hope you have a wonderful holiday and a wonderful rest of your week. Thanks for joining me. See you guys. Bye.